Hi friends, my name is Ishwar. In this video, I will show you a trick to fix contusion in the lower eye area caused by the punch to the face in Photoshop. So I'm going to use the frequency separation technique to fix this black eye problem. First of all, I'm going to duplicate the background layer twice using keyboard shortcut Ctrl or Command plus J. I will rename the top layer to texture and middle layer to color. Hide the texture layer, select the color layer and add some blur to it. To do that, go to the filter menu, blur and select Gaussian blur. Adjust the slider to set the radius and give anything around 5 pixels. 5 pixels is enough and then click OK. Alright. Then select the texture layer and add apply image command to it. To do this, go to the edit menu, select apply image. In the pop-up dialog box, select the color layer from the drop-down list. Change the blending to subtract and scale to 2 and offset to 128. Then click OK to apply the settings. Now change the texture layer blending to linear light. See, you may notice there is no difference with the original image. This means we successfully separated the image based on color and texture. This is called frequency separation. Before we jump into fixing this black eye problem, I would like to request your support on Patreon. By becoming a Patreon, you will not only contribute to the growth and continuation of my work, but also gain access to a variety of exclusive benefits and rewards. In addition to Patreon, I would also encourage you to click on the join button to become a valued channel member. As a member, you will enjoy a host of privileges, including direct downloads of valuable resources such as PSD files, actions, brushes, presets, and a wealth of other valuable content. Now let's fix this black eye. Select the color layer, right click on the layer, and select convert to smart object. I'm converting to smart object because it enables us to employ a wide range of filters, adjustments, and effects while maintaining the flexibility to modify, fine tune these changes at any point in the editing process. So I always recommend you to use the smart object when you want to use the filters. Now hide this texture layer. So the first filter I'm going to add is Gaussian Blur. Go to filter, blur, select Gaussian Blur. I will set the radius at 20 pixels so that all the details will go away and keep only the color. Now add an inverted layer mask to the color layer. We can do that easily by holding Alt or Option key and clicking on this layer mask icon. Now the effect is hidden. Take a soft edge brush, use white color and paint on the affected black eye area. For this, paint only on the area that you need to fix. Let's fix the dark circles and the opposite eyes as well. Okay, I finished the painting. The next adjustment I'm going to add is hue saturation to match the color. To do that, go to adjustments and select hue and saturation. Reduce the saturation to match the saturation with the overall image. Maybe minus 12 looks good. Increase the lightness value slightly, maybe plus 2 looks good, hit OK. Next adjustment I am going to add is contrast. To do that, again go to adjustments and select brightness and contrast. Increase the contrast value to your preference, maybe 20, OK. I successfully fixed the color, now it's time to use the texture layer. Turn on the texture layer. See the texture is applied all over the photo but I want it to be only on the affected area so what we do is simply replace the mask. Hold Alt or Option key and click on the color layer mask and drag it on the texture layer. It will automatically add a layer mask with the selection. Let me lower the opacity to reduce the intensity so that it will match the original texture. 60% looks good. Good. If you notice, the right eye looks kind of overdue, so I want to fade it a little bit to tone down the effect. I will take a brush and lower the flow to around 30%. 
change the color to black and also lower the brush opacity to 50%. Paint like this to fade the effect and make it more natural. If you accidentally paint more like this which I do here then change color to white and paint it over again like this. Okay, good. Final adjustment which I want to add some warm tone to the skin. To do that go to adjustments and select photo filter. Select the, select the warming filter. Now add a clipping mask. How you can add a clipping mask in Photoshop? Simple. Hold Alt or Option key. Place the cursor between two layers like this. You see the down arrow icon. Now click it and it will add a clipping mask. Let me lower the photo filter density. 15 looks good. Perfect. That's it friends. Here is the before and after. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and comment. Don't forget to subscribe for more Photoshop tutorials. Hit the bell icon to receive notifications from this channel. See you guys in my next video. Take care and happy editing.